Hi, this is Jody from mcpactions.com. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick retouch on my daughter Jenna. And what we're going to do today is we're gonna go ahead and get rid of some of the shine on her skin using the Bag of Tricks Action Set. We're gonna use the Shiny Skin Vanisher. And I go ahead and press play, read the instructions, and click through. I'm now, as it pops this message up, going to select a patch of skin that I want to sample from, and then it tells me to paint. So I'm going to go ahead and take a low opacity brush. I'm going to move the opacity of my brush down around 50%, and I'm going to paint on the patches of skin that have a little bit of extra shine. You don't want to overdo it because you want to still maintain some contrast, but you can see how I just got rid of that little bit of extra shine that was on her nose. Next, we're going to work on the under eye areas, the creases under her eyes, and I'm going to duplicate my background, which is Control J on a PC, Command J on a Mac, and with the background copy, we're going to use the patch tool. The patch tool is under the Spot Healing and Healing Brush tools. You'll see it looks like a little patch. And what we're going to do is we're going to circle the area around the crease. And then we're going to pull it down to an area that we want to be sampling from. Once you have done that, you need to blend it in by reducing the opacity of that layer. The next thing we're going to do is run the eye doctor. But first, because this is a pixel layer, the eye doctor would actually get covered up. So I need to merge the background copy in with the background. So if I select both and just right click, you'll see I can merge these layers. And now they're both into the background. The next thing I will do is go ahead and run the eye doctor action. When I run the eye doctor, you'll see it builds five layers. And I'm not going to always use every layer. The main layer, my favorite one, is sharp as attack. Just make sure there's a box around the mask before you start to paint. You'll make sure you have a brush selected. So I'm going to come in here and just kind of trace around her eye. And again, the other eye. Another area I like to often use the sharpening on sometimes is the shine on the lips. It just gives it a little bit of extra gloss. Then, darken pupil or lash line gives kind of a digital eyeliner or mascara. I'm gonna skip that. Brighten the whites. The whites of her eyes are bright enough, so I'm not going to use that one either. Brighten the iris. Her eyes are very dark. Typically, I leave dark eyes alone, but I will just show you what this does. So I come in here and just opposite the catch light, I click, and then reduce the opacity of that layer so it looks real natural. Enhance catch lights. If her catch lights weren't super bright, I could just tap on them. I'm actually gonna tap on the left one only because it was a little bit dimmer than the one on the right. And that's it for the eye doctor. Next thing I'm going to do in this image is I'm gonna go ahead and smooth her skin. Next, we're gonna come into Magic Skin and run Powder Your Nose. I click play. I like using Powder Your Nose on teens and children because I can paint just where they need it. So we're gonna come in here and just very lightly paint over the cheek area, a little bit on the chin, being careful not to hit areas of high contrast or we will reduce the contrast a bit and being careful not to hit hair and stuff like that. If it's too intense, that's the best part. You can just reduce the opacity. And the last thing I wanna do with this picture, it doesn't really need a lot of enhancements, mainly just retouching today. Uh, there's a blue cast all over the white areas of the background and also on her dress. To work with this, we're gonna go ahead and use bleach pen in Bag of Tricks. So I'm gonna come in here and play bleach pen. And then what we're going to do is we're going to literally paint on the background. I'm not, I don't need to be too careful actually of the hair, even though you can see I hit the skin and it did reduce the colors in it. And you'll see why in a minute, why it doesn't matter. I'm also going to come in here in her eyes in case there was any blue cast there. And you'll see it's kind of looking funky right now. And I'm going to put it on her teeth and you can see how her mouth is affected. But here's the beauty of this action. Um, assuming the cast is blues or cyans, we can just turn off, if you open up this folder, the layer for green, yellow, red, and magenta, 
and you will see this only impacted the blues and cyans. And I just realized I forgot to do the dress. So let's come in here and paint on the dress. And you can see now, just with that action, we've gotten rid of the cast in all of those areas. So it's looking really clean and nice. Let me go ahead and do a quick snapshot in our history palette and show you the before and the after with just a few quick clicks of retouching from MCP. Thank you so much for watching and please visit www.mcpactions.com, your one stop for Photoshop actions and Lightroom presets.